as the United Party for National Development Religious Affairs Committee, uh, we would like to respond to the sentiments that were uttered by our father, Father Lupupa. Uh, first of all, we want to say that we have a great respect and a great appreciation for the Catholic Church. And we do understand that the comments that were made uh, were not coming from the corporate body of the Catholic Church, uh, which we respect very much. Uh, personally, my father uh, was a Catholic and uh, he was buried by the Catholic Church and therefore we, we have the utmost respect for the Catholic Church. Coming to the comments of uh, our father, uh, we would want to say that um, as a priest, as a clergyman, uh, his is supposed to be a fatherly role, one of uniting the country, one of uh, preaching love, one of uh, preaching unity, one of preaching dialogue and reconciliation. It's very sad that uh, he would use or abuse the pulpit uh, to propagate an agenda. He would use the pulpit to desecrate the word of God by uttering sentiments that are very inflammable, sentiments that bring division, sentiments that are bordering on the breach of our constitution by advocating that one can rig an election just to maintain power, by uh, suggesting, uh, insinuating, uttering such things. We are very disappointed uh, with uh, the father. Uh, we hope that he will retract his statement. We hope that he was just excited because sometimes uh, preaching uh, from the pulpit and people applauding you creates a level of excitement and euphoria. And so sometimes we may get carried away. But uh, we are hoping that the father will retract his statement and not cause division. Uh, Zambia belongs to Zambians. And if the majority of Zambians feel that they want a change of leadership, it is up to them. No one should incite that their will or their constitutional right should be usurped uh, by people who are desperate, people who are adamant to retain power. And if there are people who have committed atrocities, they've committed crimes, they've stolen from the Zambian people, then the law must take its course. We must be a country of laws and not of men. And no one is above the rule of law. And therefore, we pray that the Father will not be defending and hiding uh, criminals. Uh, if criminals and people have committed a crime, let the law visit them. That's the language we want to hear from the Father. Uh, we want to state again that we are very disappointed in the divisive, inflammable statements that were carelessly uttered by the Father, and we hope that he retracts his statement so that he can uh, maintain a good position with the Zambian people. Thank you very much.